Now we're going to spend some time going over the problems on this practice worksheet. And uh, the first problem says, what is the average speed of a car that travels 336 kilometers in 4.2 hours? In this case, we're looking for average speed. We are given a distance, not a, di not a uh, displacement, but a distance. And we also have a time. So we're going to use the equation average speed equals distance divided by time. To be honest with you, if you use the velocity equation here, it wouldn't make any difference. You still get the same answer, and that's okay. So that equation becomes distance, 336 kilometers, divided by the time, 4.2 hours. And it looks like the answer works out to be 80 kilometers per hour. And that's the answer to the first question. Question two, what is the average speed, again we're looking for speed, of a truck that travels 620 kilometers in 6.2 hours? And again, that's a distance and that's a time. So basically it's, it's the same problem, just different numbers. So we can start off with average speed is equal to distance divided by time. And that becomes the distance, which is 620.0 kilometers. And we're going to divide that by 6.2 hours. And we work that out, and it looks like it works out to 100 kilometers per hour. All right, for problem three down here, we have how far can a car travel in 5.3 hours at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour? So now we're not looking for the speed. We're given the speed. We have that. We have the time. And here we're looking for how far can the car travel. So we're, la we're actually looking here for a distance. So we need to rearrange this equation. And when we rearrange the equation, well, we can use some basic algebra. We can use the magic triangle. At any rate, when you actually do this, you find out that the equation is uh, distance equals speed times time, just like that. And now we work this out in three steps, just like we do all the other problems. The speed here is given. It's 80 kilometers per hour. times the time, and the time is 5.3 hours. And you'll notice that hours is going to factor out. It's going to cancel out the hours. It's going to leave kilometers, which is a unit of distance, which is just what we're looking for. Remember, it's important to carry those units through the problem and set the problem up in three steps on a piece of paper. Don't just plug the numbers into a calculator and hope you have it set up right. All right, when we work this out, it comes out to, it looks like, 424 kilometers. And remember that kilometer, that's the only unit left over. The hour canceled out. And there's the first three problems. All right, now we're down here to question number four. And question number four says, how long would it take a jet traveling at a velocity of 800 kilometers per hour southeast to fly from Los Angeles to Belize City, a distance of 5,000 kilometers. In this case, we're looking for how long would it take, and that is going to be time. And we're given a velocity right here, and we're also given a displacement right there, that's x right there, 5,000 kilometers. So in this case, we're going to have to rearrange that velocity equation. And if you rearrange the velocity, velocity equation correctly, you found out that the new equation is t equals x over v. Next step, plug in some numbers, plug in some units of measurement. And the displacement is 5,000 kilometers. And the velocity is 800 kilometers per hour southeast. And, of course, kilometers is going to factor out. 
that's going to leave hours which is good because an hour is a unit of time and that's what we're looking for and when you work this out it works out to 6.25 hours just like that and you really don't have to bring that southeast down here simply because time is considered to be a scalar quantity it doesn't need a direction it just sits by itself it's a scalar quantity all right let's go down here and solve question five question five deals with sound it says sound waves travel at 340 meters per second and that's true how far can a sound wave travel in five seconds interesting question so we're looking for how far the sound waves can travel and that's going to be in this case a distance and we're given a speed and we're given a time it's always a good idea to label things in the problem so you know what you have and you know what you're looking for just like I did right here so we're gonna set this problem up speed equals distance divided by time and if we rearrange that and solve for how far then we get a new equation that says D equals s times T distance equals speed times time you have to rearrange that speed equation because you're looking for the distance in this case so distance equals the speed 340 meters per second speed of sound times the time in this case 5.0 seconds and it just so happens that in five seconds a sound wave can travel 1700 meters why is it just meters well the seconds canceled out right there leaving only the unit meter to be carried down here to the answer in order to get the, the answer right you have to have both the numeric part of the answer the number and also the unit of measurement so you have to keep that in mind all right we're down here working now on problem six and problem six is a different kind of problem it's actually a dimensional analysis problem and if you remember when we talked about dimensional analysis in, in lesson one I said that the first thing you had to do was write down the given value and the unit and that's what we'll do the given value and the unit here is 340 meters per second problem says the speed of sound is about 340 meters per second what is this speed in kilometers per hour so I'm gonna convert from meters per second to kilometers per hour so that's the given value and its unit right there 340 meters per second so that's what I write down first 340 meters per second and I'm gonna multiply that by a conversion factor that will get rid of meters and leave kilometers then I'm gonna multiply it by another conversion factor that will cancel out or factor out seconds so I'm gonna put seconds above the above the division line here and I want to go to hours so I want to put hours below that now that's as far as I have to go watch what happens when I put some numbers in here one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters well you, you probably know that but don't make the mistake of putting 1000 kilometers per one meter because that's a real common mistake pay, pay close attention to what you do and as far as the relationship between seconds and hours one hour is how many seconds 3600 3600 seconds is one hour so when I work this out it works out to 1224 and the unit in the answer is kilometers per hour why because well meters factor out and seconds factor out you notice they factor out when they're on opposite sides of the division line above and below so the unit in the answer now is going to be kilometers per hour see that kilometers over hours and that's exactly what you get kilometers per hour all right let's go down here and let's work on question seven question seven says how long would it take a sound wave to travel 1.0 kilometers now this is a speed problem it says how long would it take 
Well, how long would it take? That means time. A sound wave to travel one kilometer, so that's going to be distance. It doesn't even have a direction, so you're not going to call it a displacement. And since it's a sound wave, we actually do have the velocity here. The velocity is right there, 1,224 kilometers per hour. So we have the we have the velocity. We have everything that we need to figure out how long it takes sound to travel one kilometer. So we set the problem up like this. If you rearrange the equation correctly, you said t equals d distance over speed. And when we work that out, we get the distance one kilometer right there divided by 1224 kilometers per hour. And what factors out? The kilometers factors out. And so the answer is actually going to be left in hours. And when you work that out, it works out to, and I'll write it over here, it works out to 0.0008 hours. 0.0008 hours. I wrote it over here because I wanted to have room to change this into seconds and just give you a little more experience with some dimensional analysis. So I'm going to multiply that by hours and seconds. Why did I put the hour underneath the division line? Because I wanted to factor out and I wanted to leave my answer in seconds. One hour is 3600 seconds. So when I work this out, hours factors out, and my answer works out to 2.94 seconds. So it takes a sound wave just under three seconds to travel one kilometer. All right, question eight. This is an easy one. All vectors have what? all vectors have a direction. Now it's true velocity has a speed and a direction but not all vectors are velocities. So the answer is A. All vectors have this one thing in common they all have a direction.